What's up guys, today we're just outside of Salt Lake in a town called Lehigh, Utah, and we are back with one of our favorite Matco dealers, Mr. Tim Parsons. He's got some cool stuff on the truck today. It's always fun to take a visit, so you guys, come on. Mr. Tim. Yeah, Mr. Clay, how are you doing? Man, I am absolutely lovely. Yeah, enjoying the cool weather here today. I'll tell you what, 70, no, it was 67. 67 yeah, that's way better than 87. 80, I don't 70. think it's changed. I think it's been 67 all day, is what it says. It's absolutely it's, lovely. Oh, this is the best thing. One week ago today, 107. So <laughs> I come I'm, a good time. I, I, you, took, you came in a good day, man. Yeah. Last week you would have been, yeah, I'm going back home. So guys, I rode with Tim today, and I'm gonna tell you, if you are a Matco dealer and you're struggling, you need to come take lessons with this guy. Cause there was people <laughs> throwing $100 bills at him at every shop we walked into. Yeah. It was amazing. Uh, but it's no doubt Tim gives excellent customer service. I watched him today handle some guys in shops and it's really good. So if Matco corporate needs a trainer there's your guy <laughs> that you need to Don't use be doing that stuff. i'm busy enough <laughs> <laughs> anyway so tell everybody again i know we did a video and i'll put a card up here from the last time but there's probably some new people that may not know who you are and may be in the area or passing through and need some matco stuff hi i'm tim parsons my phone number is 801-885-9255 i cover uh utah county and which is 30 miles south of salt lake Cover Northern Utah County. There's a few guys below me, so there's like six of us that run all the way to the border. So, yeah, like I said, so Lehigh yeah. American Fork area, Pleasant Grove. Well, no Pleasant Grove. I guess it'd be American Fork, Lehigh, Saratoga, not Pleasant Grove. I don't go that far <laughs> south. Sorry. Well, I want to do something stuff. a little different. Normally, when we come out here, we talk about your top tools and stuff like that. Yeah. And I know you guys have got a really good flyer this time, so I want to yeah. go over the flyer. Okay and uh, let you kind of explain it to the people because right. you know some of the deals you got and then I want to show some extra cool stuff that you got on this truck. All right, well, so. Mackle's got this new uh, summer savings. They got some cool stuff in there. You got our MSC4 American USA card on sale. You buy that, get a boom box necklace. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of a mini boom box, I guess. Yeah. So those are stuff on promo. Um, we got some Oakley backpacks, um, just some year end clearance stuff. Digital tire inflators, some of our half inch cordless is on promo, or combo kits with 16 volt, good kits, you know, 3 8 stubbies, and you can't beat those stubbies and right. seal head ratchets. Um, some Oakleys on sale, some hole saws, um, just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. It's kind of not like geared towards anything specific. So you will have to explain. We went to a shop this morning, yes. and it was a diesel shop. Yep. Now this was pretty cool. So the kid was working on a new Chevrolet. LB. It was uh, whatever the new diesel, the new diesel is, yeah. yeah. So they're having trouble pulling a vacuum on the coolant system. Right, because it has a, a second reservoir underneath that you right. can't get to. So he figured out you could push the fluid back through using... So this is the small version. This is the PFED B25. Those guys have the PFED 10, which is the bigger bottle. There's one, I always carry one on the truck because once, once somebody uses it, they always end up, somebody else buys them. So this is the big bottle. So this is extract and push through. So you can right. fill and release. Dispenses and extracts. And, exactly. So the kid was talking about how he liked, cause you could screw the top off of this model and get in there to clean it after you pull the old out to yeah. put new in. And what did I tell him? I said, well, I just sell you an extra bottle. We sell the extra yeah. bottle. I ain't so, never has to worry about a clean or dirty. Dude was tickled so, to death. That way you have one for extraction, one for pushing new fluid back in, so. Unfortunately, I didn't sell the kid to a bottle, but I bet next week I get one. <laughs> so what else was in there? I know oh, I'm sorry. About halfway through. Yep. So we got our some digital ratchets, which are really nice. I had two guys today that already own these. So that they use them for everybody. Mm -hmm. That'll nice to get in there. The digital so torque it's like a, adapter. It's like a 
torque wrench, but it's, it's a, a lot torque, smaller. So it's a three eighths ratchet with a digital torque wrench built into it. Mm -hmm. So it's a vibrating torque wrench. There you go. Um, great cool. stuff for Newton meter stuff. Yeah. Where you can't get your three eighths drive because it's literally the size of a 12 inch ratchet. That's awesome. So. Um, we got some specialty bits and torque sets, um, spark plug sockets, sold a couple of the 3 8 um, wobbly extension today. Mm -hmm. the guys that have the smaller ones decided to add on the promo, saves some money. And always screwdrivers are always a good buy. Always That's the buy. same color that I got. I love yeah, the, the color. The high, high vis, the, yeah. they sell with those in the new blue. Mm -hmm. can't, can't get away from the blue. Are you saying people buy tools because of the color? How many blue tools I sell today? A lot. Okay. A lot. How, how many people asked me about those <laughs> in our last stop? So. One guy already had the orange ones. I remember trade them. them. Yeah. Blue. Yep. Um, welders, stuff like that. There's a little bit. Um, leak detectors. Like I said, it's just ADS systems, lab scope. Michael just put on a big uh, summer blowout clear. Some stuff 15, 20, up to 40% off. Yeah. So, yeah. Like I said, so taking some orders for some stuff today. Trying to fit it up this summer. Very nice. And I want to show you guys something else. I always thought it was cool that Matco guys sold Oakleys on their truck. So Tim is taking it up another notch and he's become like a mini sunglass hut. So check this out. He's got a case here. And a little rearranging, but a case here. So tell everybody about the new Oakleys. So the new Troy Lee Holbrooks. So these came out. Um, well, wow, in one of our sales meetings, I believe it was, um, they were on back order for a long time. So some of the guys told me that they've been selling a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, eh, I'm not a big Oakley salesman, but I like to carry a variety. Right. So, so, so I buy these. I get three in. Now look how these week. work. They so, go from like a brownish so gold see. color. So, they change color to blue to green to purple. That's, that's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. Troy Lee design. So. They're cool. They're new. Um, so yeah, or I bring in three sets. I have a guy actually ask me for a set. So I bring in, I buy a couple extra. Put them on the truck, went to the shop, sold both pairs, three guys order. I sold five sets in one shop. And now I got two sets in yesterday, plus the one in the case. So I have three more that came in last night. Yep. And I already have two guys waiting for them to get here next week when I show up. <laughs> so just the color changing around and it's just, yeah. They're, they're, so I want to show you guys the little variety pack of sunglasses he's got because it's a whole lot of them. Like these are cool, they're wood framed. Yeah, and I actually put some in the... And these here, he's got all different colors and styles. And like, it's pretty cool. But now this is what I thought was cool. Everybody needs to wear safety glasses, exactly. obviously, but it I've, sucks wearing My safety like, glasses sales have tripled since I put them up on display. The not cool safety glasses, right? But check these out. Yeah, those are our Force Flex glasses. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, what else cool and new and different have you got? Because I know we looked at, now guys, let me say this. This truck has not been restocked today. And Tim has sold a butt load of tools today. <laughs> like, yeah. these tools that's coming like off the of last here. Video, kid. You can't sell it if you don't have it. Like, they was tools coming off here today in arm loads. Tim moves some weight now, I'll put it that way. So. Like, for instance, I know he sold an uh, air ratchet and an impact in like 10 minutes of each other. And yep. no telling how many streamlights was uh, sold today. Four, two stingers, and it's, I sold that pink st yeah. stinger. I mean, pink he had spine. a pink stinger that was right there in the strand. Right, it. it was right underneath that orange light up there. And it was so cool. It was the Breast Cancer Foundation one. Like, it was an awesome color pink. And I was eyeballing, I'm like, yeah, I'm buying that. And this kid <laughs> come on here and snatched it no, up. Remember and the I was one like, kid wanted to sell it to the other. I had it sold to one kid, and the other guy, he's like, oh, I told you to save that. I was like, oh, I thought you wanted it. They had it in the box. So the other kid decided he would just take it and wait for one to come back in. So, so I, I, told like, I thought I sold it and didn't even know I sold it. Because he's got like a whole buttload of them back here in a the drawer. So I'm like, okay, I want one of those pink lights. He's like, I don't have any more. I, ju I literally just got that Saturday. <laughs> it hasn't been on the truck three days. So, so if you dealers are looking for something cool to put on your truck that's going to flip quick, I can tell you this, there was a lot of purple flashlights sold today and that pink one went really quick. So, yeah. But um, anyway, I want to just do a quick walk through of Tim's truck. Like I say, he has sold a lot of tools today. 
with me on the truck and he has got a ton of stuff left but it's it's probably four or five hundred pounds lighter than you left this morning because oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of tools that get sold today so like this whole shelf was full of stuff it's it's impressive at what he has sold in just today and we got to go in a lot of shops and seen a lot of boxes that Tim sold. But even more impressive than the box sales is when guys open their toolbox drawers. It was pretty much all Matco. Yeah, well, there's like three new Snap-on boxes in there. Yeah, and full, full of, of Matco tools. tools. Yeah. Snap-on got to have the boxes, I'll take the tools. <laughs> so he had a ton of sales. And like we found out today that guys love beef jerky. <laughs> and love I told you. candy. If they didn't so, buy anything, what did they buy? Yeah. Jerky, candy, or drinks. And this was like the hottest spot to be because Tim refills this bowl constantly. And all the good candy looks like it's gone now, but Tim's got like a, a 50 pound sack yeah, that he pulls out and restocks that thing with. But, um, you know, that's, that's part of being a good tool dealer. Like everybody, even if they didn't owe him any money, would come out here and get a piece of candy. They get to looking around and almost everybody bought something. Yeah, if I didn't have it, at least they didn't order something. So I guess the key to being a good tool dealer is building that relationship with your guys. Yeah, and, that's all it is. And, you know, Be they the come out call first. buying candy. I don't mean, know how many times my phone rang today. It was like, wait a minute, I got to go look and see if I got this. Can you get this for me? Can you yeah. find this for me? Right. So, I know every shop, we went into a massive Chevrolet shop today. Like I was yes. totally impressed at the number of lifts that was in that shop and all the techs were super cool. And uh, like he knew all of those guys, like on a personal basis, like one of one of the guys had just had a baby and you know, he shared the pictures of the baby with Tim. And you know, that's the kind of relationship that every guy wants to have with a tool dealer. But a lot of tool dealers are too quote unquote busy to, to, to spend that time. I try time. to make it personal. I mean, I don't want to be, it's not personal, it's it's a relationship that I build with. Yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. I mean, you know. I want them to know I'm, I'm a person too, I understand, stuff mm -hmm. happens. You know, and I've, I've been lucky, I mean, I've had a great relationship with Hamilton and as well as Matt and Michael and even Joe, and you know, it's, it's nice to have that relationship. But, you know, Tim has kind of proved the, the model of tool truck sales, how it works, you know, building that relationship. And just a prime example, there's a reason why all of this is here. So for you guys that's maybe struggling in tool sales or whatever, like, I don't know why, because I watched it two days in a row. I was on, I was on the truck yesterday with Jeremy Miner and tools were selling really well. It was a great day. Come row with Tim today and tools flew off the shelf like crazy. So. But anyway, you got anything else cool you want to show or talk about that you guys have got? Um, can we talk about what the new blue thing is? Can, can we talk about that? Which one? The, uh... Oh, the new impacts? Uh, yeah. Let's yeah, go I ahead and lift, so. I don't go ahead why and lift the can I out mean, of the bag. We got a sales meeting coming up that um, I'm pretty sure there's a new blue camo. Uh, 20 volt impact kit it comes mm -hmm. with a half inch and a three eighths. I'm not sure if it's a two battery kit or a charge with one battery. I'm not sure, um, but there will be a blue camo kit. So Mako doesn't bundle very often. Mm -hmm. They did some a few years ago, um, but I hear there is going to be a kit available soon. Soon. So you will have a half inch 20 volt, three eighths 20 volt, the 600 and the 1600 in a combo kit and they are in yeah. blue camo. they're not pure blue but it is a blue camo it's a blue camo but it does blue you know it would be super sweet if you could pull some strings and get a picture of that where i could put that picture over here and that way everybody can see mm, i don't know if i still have a picture or not oh look at this we don't even have to wait maybe see. so i'm gonna look around some more while you uh while you uh look for this awesome blue pitcher. These are the pliers you were saying everybody was going nuts over, right? Yes. So it's a PSJ8M. You see it's got a wire cutter. 
and the jaws, the way they're made. So something new and something cool. That's what we always like is the new cool stuff. For you guys that's doing airlines, I bought a set of these from Matco Michael a long time ago. I bought it in the big set. There's four piece set. These things are awesome to disconnect the quick connect airlines. Just put it on there, squeeze it, and it pops it right out. No fussing, no cussing, well worth the money. Now, as far as I know, Matco is like the only place you can get those. So that's a great tool to add if you have to do a lot of airlines. If you guys need hammers, he's got the hammers. This is the hammer store right here. Hammers back there, hammers over here. Hammers stuck everywhere. So here it is. So you get the half inch, the three inch, two batteries, two batteries and a charger. Yes, sir. And there's the blue camo color. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, Tim, as always, thanks for having us out. I appreciate you giving us the time to ride today and meet a bunch of your crew and get to shoot a video and let us experience the utah super stack pack matco truck so i definitely appreciate it guys like always if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here if you're not subscribed click that button you guys have a great week see ya